There's no doubt you get confidence in your training. If you don't have confidence or belief in your training, you can't carry confidence into competition and be ready to go. And everybody has butterflies. You know, I'm not ashamed to admit that. I think everybody does. You know, you always get a little fear. One of the things I did at competition specifically for me, I had things that I did to, to drive it out of me, get myself really fired up to compete. You know, one, I used to pull my straps on my single. And then when I stepped on the mat, I would stop my feet. And then the last trigger for me that was really big, I didn't shake hands, man, I, I smacked hands. I got yelled at it by the refs all the time for it, but I needed that, I needed that to just pull them, okay, let's go. And at that point, it was gone for me. Because I didn't do all that training just to let fear lock me up. Before you're a national champion or a state champion, you gotta be the state champion or the national champion. All that plaque does at the end of the year is validated to all the fans. Every day you wake up, your training needs to say, I'm the national champion. Your conditioning workouts needs to say, I'm the national champion. You know, giving it my best is just a nice way of saying I, I need a back door in case things don't go my way. Either do it or don't do it. Be committed or not committed to it. You know, and that's what, what state champions and national champions and world champions do. They're committed. The, the corrections need to be happening all year. Your wrestling gets better all year. And the first match should be just as important as the last match. That's what the best guys who have a championship mindset and mentality, that's what they do.